everyone, it's Sarah, and welcome to my crochet channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet these sweet little baby scratch mitts or infant mittens. And what these are used for is when newborn babies are born, and within the first two or three months, they have those very thin fingernails that are like little sharp blades and it's like getting paper cuts and the babies accidentally scratch their face or their bodies. And so you can slip these on their little hands, usually they're all tight in a fist, and this will keep them from scratching themselves. It's a really neat thing to add if you're giving, say, a blanket or maybe a bonnet to a baby or, you know, mama for a gift to go ahead and use some of that leftover yarn and make a set of these scratch mitts. They really are useful, and I think every brand new mama would be happy to have a pair. Now, this pattern measures about four and a half inches tall, and it's about four and a half inches around. And I'll talk to you about how to adjust it a little bit with our crochet hooks when we get a little farther on in the video. Now, this is a free crochet pattern on my blog, and you can find that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. Now, these are super easy to whip up. You're going to need a main color for your mitten, and I'm going to do that in this light pink, and then you'll need a trim color and a color for your bow, and I'm going to do that in this sort of lavender purple. And you'll need about an ounce of the pink and just a small amount of the purple. It doesn't take very much, and it's a really great thing, like I said, to make with some of the leftover yarns that maybe you made a blanket or something with, and it will match and go along with the set if you're giving it as a gift. We're going to be stitching in the round, and so you're going to need one stitch marker to mark those rows. We'll be stitching today with our H hook, which is a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need your needle to weave in ends, and you'll need a pair of scissors. We're going to begin by chaining three. Here's my slip knot, and chain three. One, two, three. Move my stitch marker out of the way there. We're going to place 10 single crochets in the second chain from the hook. So there's our first, here's our second. So we'll go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through both loops. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to move that over there. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're not going to be joining, we're going to be stitching in rounds. And so I'm going to take my stitch marker and I'm going to mark that last stitch. If you don't have a stitch marker, you can always use a piece of yarn that's a different color, safety pin, paper clip, barrette, whatever you have that you want to use, Sometimes I've even used a, a mismatched pair of hoop earrings. <laughs> Just use what you've got, all right? So we have 10 single crochets, and we've marked it with our stitch marker. All right, I'm going to pull this loop up just a little bit, and I'm going to turn this over. And you'll notice that we have a hole, and I'm going to go ahead and weave this in because it's really difficult to do that when you're finished because the mittens are so small. So we're going to go ahead and go around this and gather that in gently. There we go. We just want to make sure we get that hole closed. All right. That looks good. So I'll go ahead and clip that. So we have 10 single crochets. I marked the last stitch with my stitch marker. 
And now what we're going to do is we're not going to join, we're going to just continue to stitch around what's called continuous rounds. And what we're going to do is place two single crochets in each of those 10. So we'll go in that first one and stitch two. So there's one, two, and then one, two. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and that brings us to our stitch where our stitch marker is, and this will be nineteen and twenty. So row two, we have twenty single crochets. We're going to take that stitch marker and mark our last row, or our last stitch, not our last row, our last stitch on row two. So we have 20 single crochets, and remember, we're working in continuous rounds for the mitten portion of this project. For row three, we're just going to stitch one single crochet in each of those 20 single crochets around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you will notice that it's starting to curl now because we're going to begin working up the side of the mitten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. We'll move our stitch marker and work our twentieth single crochet in that stitch. All right, so we're going to go ahead and mark our stitch. And so for row three, we have twenty single crochets as well. All righty, now. For row four, we're just going to repeat what we did for row three. We're going to stitch one single crochet in each of the 20 single crochets around. And as you work, you'll see that it curls up more and more in order to form the sides of the little mitten. All right, here's my 20th stitch. I'm going to put my 20th stitch in and replace my stitch marker in that last stitch. All right, let's get it back where it goes. You can see the forming of the mitten. And so what we're going to do is we're going to repeat row three eight more times. So you'll have eight more rows of one single crochet in each single crochet around, you'll have 20 single crochets each row, and you'll repeat row three eight more times. I have done my repeats, and this is the way that it should look. And we're not going to do any more continuous rounds. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to place a slip stitch in the next stitch, and we're going to chain two. And we can go ahead and take our stitch marker out. 
Let's chain two counts as a half double crochet. And we're going to place one half double crochet in each of these single crochets around and then join back to our chain two. So yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through all three loops. One half double crochet in each of the single crochets around. We're starting to form the band of the little mitten. One half double crochet in each around and then we'll join back to that chain two. I have stitched one half double crochet in each of the single crochets around so I have 20 half double crochets. We're going to join to the top of that chain two with a slip stitch and we're going to chain one. The way this next row is going to work is we're going to single crochet in the first stitch and we're going to double crochet front post. Front post, double crochet in the next stitch. So yarn over, go around that post of your half double crochet, pull up a loop and finish that double crochet. And we're going to alternate this single crochet in the next, front post, double crochet in the next. See how that works? It's going to alternate. Single crochet in the next, front post, double crochet in the next. Single crochet in the next, front post, double crochet in the next. And so what we're doing is we're forming that band around the top. Single, front post, double crochet. Single, front post, double crochet. Single, front post, double crochet. Single, front post, double crochet all the way around. And then we'll join back to that first single crochet. So I've stitched that row, single, front post double, single, front post double, all the way around. You still have 20 stitches. You have 10 single crochets and 10 front post double crochets. We're going to join to that first single crochet with a slip stitch. And now we're going to change our yarn and that's gonna give us that little trim that's on the top of our little mitten. All right, so we're just going to bring that in we're going to chain one, make sure everything's snug down. We're going to single crochet in the single crochet. We're going to front post double crochet in the front post double crochet. Single in the single, front post double around that post and stitch a front post double crochet. And so we're alternating single crochets and front post double crochets, just like we did on the previous row. We're just doing it in a different color to give it a little pop of fun. Single in the single and front post double crochet in the front post double crochet all the way around. Then we'll join back to that single crochet. So I worked that all the way around, stitching single, front post double, all the way around. We're going to join back to that first single crochet with a slip stitch and we're going to tie off. And we're going to, we cut our yarn and we're going to go in that next stitch and pull that loop to the inside. There we go. For a much neater tie off appearance. All right, now we need to take our needle and weave these ends in, and then I'll show you how to make that cute little tie. One thing to remember is you do not want to make any knots because you don't want any knots 
that could cause a bump or anything like that on the inside of your mittens. All right, so let me go ahead and weave these in and I'll show you how to make that sweet little tie. To make the little bow tie, we're going to make a slip knot and we're going to chain 30 chains. I've chained 30 chains. We're going to cut our yarn and tie off. We're going to make a knot at the end of each of those. There's one. We're going to cut that off and then we'll tie the other end. And that's just going to keep it from coming undone. I want to make sure it's as close as we can get it to that chain. All right, now we'll take our little mitten, decide where you want the center to be. We're going to go right here underneath, go through two stitches so it holds securely, grab that chain and pull it through. This little bow is decorative. It is not to tighten up. <clears throat> it is not to tighten up the mitten. We don't want anything elastic or tying on this mitten because unfortunately sometimes they're tied too tight and can cut off the blood circulation. The whole idea of these is to be able to slip them on so the baby doesn't accidentally scratch themselves. All right, let's make that little bow. Let's move that tie out of the way there. All right, so there is our little baby scratch mitten or baby mitts. Now remember, you need to make two because baby has two hands. Let's talk about sizing just a little bit. Not all baby hands are the same. Some babies have bigger hands or smaller hands and are born at different sizes. And so the way you can adjust this pattern is by changing your hook size. If you've made them and they're coming out just a little bit too big, you can go down a hook size. And if they're coming out just too small, you can go up a hook size. And also, not all crocheters crochet at the same tension. So keep that in mind as well. So here are our baby scratch mitts or baby mittens. And you can see we have them in all in pastels, of course, but you can make them in any colors that you want to. You can stripe them. And like I said at the beginning of the video, if you have leftover yarn from making baby a blanket or something, you can always make a pair of these scratch mittens to give also. I loved them when my kids were little, and I know every mama that has a brand new baby will love to have a pair of these baby scratch mittens.